Now we're asked to verify whether a uh, specific collection of 2 by 2 matrices is a subspace of M2 by 2, which is the collection of all 2 by 2 matrices. Um, so the collection of all 2 by 2 matrices is one of our standard uh, vector spaces. Um, since we know that we're dealing with a subset of a vector space, then we don't have to prove all 10 of the uh, requirements for a vector space. We, we know we're already dealing with a, a subspace, or a, I'm sorry, a subset of the 2 by 2 matrices, which we know is a vector space. Then we really just have to prove uh, three conditions. Um, so there's a theorem that says we to show that this thing is a vector space, we really just have to show, uh, one, that it contains the zero vector, which zero vector varies, I mean, exactly what the zero vector is varies depending on um, the space that you're working in. In this case, if we're uh, working with a collection of two by two matrices, then the zero vector is a two by two matrix where all the entries are zero. Uh, we also need to show that uh, this subset W is closed under addition and closed under scalar, scalar multiplication. So I'll jot that down. Closed under addition, and W needs to be closed under scalar multiplication. So we'll just go with scalar mult. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so first, does it contain the zero vector? Uh, so looking at the zero vector, A, B, C, D would all be zero. So we need to verify whether these two conditions are met. So in this case, A plus D would be zero plus zero, which is equal to zero. So that, that first condition checks out. Also, B minus two times C would be zero minus two times zero, would also be zero. Uh, so here we've shown that yes, uh, the zero vector is contained in W. Okay, moving on to the second condition. W is closed under scalar multiplication. Um, now here it, it may help, I'm going to take these uh, two conditions, um, one and two here, and maybe rewrite uh, that first condition as A equals negative D. And I'm going to rewrite that second condition as B is equal to 2C, so that um, any matrix A, B, C, D in W would have to have this form. A is equal to negative D, so I'm going to go ahead and just put a negative D there, and that's where D is this entry in the bottom uh, right corner. B is equal to 2 times C, so if I put a C here, B is equal to 2 times C, so any vector in W has to have that form. Okay, so uh, now we need to take two generic elements of this subset W. So um, let's let, uh, I don't even know what to call these guys. Um, let's let U, which is equal to, um, so it's equal to this matrix A, B, C, D, but we know it has to have this form. So I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and write it in that form. So negative uh, D1 to C1, and that's where this is C1, this is D1 here. If U is an element of W, and uh, I'm also going to have a matrix V that's an element of W, then U has to have this form. Um, okay, so if V again is just any generic element of W, then it's got to have that same form. So, But this time I'm going to call the C and D entries C2, D2. Uh, so the A component has to equal negative D2, and the B component has to equal 2 times C2. Okay, so we're going to let this be, um, I don't know, let's say elements of W. Yes, that's what I'm calling it this time. Okay, then the question is, I have, so I have my two generic elements of W. If it's closed under addition, then the sum u plus v must be contained in w. 
that's the that's what we need to verify now. So u plus v would be. I'm going to go ahead and just copy them down. Plus v. Okay, and so to add these matrices, we just add the corresponding components. So you're going to have negative d1 uh, plus negative d2, and then we'll have 2c1 plus 2c2. Here we'll have c1 plus c2, and here we'll have d1 plus d2. Okay, now notice that I could rewrite this as negative d1 plus d2, factor out the negative in that first component. And I could factor out a 2 in this second component here. And then I have c1 plus c2, d1 plus d2. And this does now have the form of a uh, matrix in W. We've got these c and d components where the b component is 2 times c, and the a component here is just equal to negative, uh, negative 1 times the d component. So yes, this does have, have the um, form of a matrix in W, so u plus v, sorry about my computer update, uh, u plus v is contained in W, which means W is closed under addition. Because we've shown that the sum of any two generic uh, matrices in W will be contained in W. Uh, w is closed under addition. Now, when you sh show that something is closed under addition, make sure that you prove it this way. It's not sufficient to pick two specific matrices in W and show that their sum is in W. Because showing that it's true in one case is not the same as showing that u plus v is in W in all cases. Um, here, the process that, that we've shown here does show that if u is any element of, of W and v is any element of W, then u plus v is necessarily an element of w, so it's closed under addition. Um, same thing with closed under scalar uh, multiplication. So to prove that, we would need to let c be any number. And we would need to let, um, let's say, v be any element of W. Not just one specific, like maybe the 0, 0, 0, 0 matrix. Not one specific matrix, not any specific matrix, but um, just a general element of W. So then you go, okay, so if V is in W, what can I say about V? Well, it has to have this form. So I've got these C and D components. The A component has to equal negative, negative D and the B component has to equal 2 times C. And that is thanks to these conditions uh, for all the matrices that are in W. Okay, so V has to have this form. Let me put a little then. Since V is in W, it must have this form. Oh, I'm using C two different ways, aren't I? Uh, okay, sorry about this, guys, but let's, uh, instead of calling the scalar C, let's call it K. That's another... Um, letter we like to use to represent just any constant value. Okay, so k is any number. If we take k times v, that's going to be k times this matrix, uh, 2c, c, c, d. So we multiply each component times k, so that's negative dk, uh, 2ck, c times k, and uh, d times k. And notice again that so this d component down here, the a component is equal to just negative uh, d times k, and the b component is equal to 2 times the, the c component here. Um, so this does have the form uh, of a matrix in W. It does meet the requirement that uh, D plus A 
in this case would be dk minus dk is zero, and b, which is two ck, minus two times c, which would be minus two times dk, would also equal zero. Uh, so yes, the constant, just any constant k times any uh, matrix in w will be contained in w. Uh, so w is closed under uh, scalar multiplication. Scalar multiplication. And since we've shown um, all three of these conditions, then we can say uh, that this collection W is a subspace. Oops, a subspace of the vector space uh, M2 by 2, the collection of all 2 by 2 matrices.